All right, Wes, what's thin provisioning? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I, I just had this idea, maybe you want to talk about it. Sure. Uh, so thin provisioning. Uh, first, let's talk about non-thin provisioning arrays. And sometimes they're referred to as a thick array. But this is the old traditional arrays, essentially, where, uh, of course, this is a hardware-based RAID array. We have disk within the array. We have a controller. And what we're going to produce is a virtual disk, known as a LUN, um, occasionally. And so within the array, there'll be groupings of disks in here in which we're going to pull disk space to create these virtual devices, these virtual disks. So in a traditional array, when a virtual disk is created, and I'll just call it a, a LUN here, when it's created, it's made up of actual disk space from disk within the array. So we'll take chunks of space from all the disks in the group to make up the amount of disk space that goes to this particular uh, virtual disk. Now, the traditional problem with this is we're limited in the number of uh, virtual disks that we can create and their size based on the amount of disk space we have within our array. So I can create this at a maximum of, of six terabytes, one terabyte for each disk, or I can create multiple LUNs here that uh, basically make up a total of six terabytes, maybe three and three or two and four or whatever. But I'm limited to the amount of space that I have in here. Well, I give these to my groups that request these, and I may have a terabyte LUN here and a terabyte LUN here. One group uses 100 gigs in this one. The other group fills this up and wants more. Okay? Well, now, can I give them more? It's based on how much disk space I have available here. That's where thin provisioning comes in, solves this problem, where I can have the same number of disks. We're still creating virtual disks with this. So as we create a virtual disk, let me group these together. I create a virtual disk from this, and this is my thin disk, still referred to as a LUN. Okay? This is essentially just an empty shell. It's the reference for a disk. But when it's presented to your host system, it sees it as a full-size disk. So if this disk, say, was uh, four terabytes, the host system will see this disk as a true four terabyte disk. But under the covers, there's no disk space assigned to this. Disk space is allocated on demand. So as we write data to this, the array will pull chunks of disk space from these disks here. And the size is going to be based on whatever the chunk size for the vendor is. They will go into this, this disk here, but only enough to satisfy the write request. So as data goes in there, we will only supply disk space to this to satisfy the needs of the amount of data that's there. So even though this is four terabyte LUN, we may be using just a very small amount of space here. So I can create multiple LUNs. So I can create another one, four terabytes here. That's eight terabytes, and I only have six terabytes of disk space. Don't really want to do this, because you might run into some issues. That's where good management tools come in, to be able to manage this environment. But I can do this. Then I have the group that uses only 100 gigabytes of this four terabyte uh, LUN, and I've only given 100 gigabytes to this. But then I have a group here that says, I need four terabytes. They use all of that four terabytes in record time, and guess what I can do? I can grow this thing out, grow it to five terabytes, and I still have space here to do it, as long as I don't exceed the total amount of space I have. Things to be careful of. What if this group here all of a sudden says, oh, we got four terabytes, let's use it. So that's where your good management tools come into play. So it's a good tool. It's a really great environment to handle these types of issues. But it does have its ups and downs, okay? good management tools. VXFS and Veritas file system can come into play for arrays that support reclaim features to be able to reclaim disk space that has been used and allocated and now is no longer needed. So it can be brought back into the pool here. So if we actually use, say, a terabyte of space here and then we delete most of that, the reclaim um, procedure will take that unused space, or the, the freed up space, and give it back to the array. And it goes through an API with Volume Manager. And Volume Manager and File System recognize thin provisioning arrays and the disks that support reclaim features. Well, great. Wes, this is a great explanation of thin provisioning. Thanks for taking the time to do it. My pleasure.